How are we tonight? Hello, Gracies. It's good to see you again here. I'm Mike, and I'm here tonight to do a couple of songs for you. And how's that? This is one here. Uh, let me see. There's so many songs I would love to do for you with so little time, you know? So little time here. Here we go. Here's one that's uh, pretty good. You got to get nice and you have to go home. Get some shampoo and a fine tooth comb. Get nice. Take a bath, you fool. You're gonna spread those things all over the school. The nurse came around with a wooden stick to check our hair for lice and nits. If she saw them hopping around in your scalp, she'd point to the door and say, Get the hell out. You got head lice and you have to go home. Get some shampoo and a fine tooth comb. You got head lice, take a bath of your fool. You're gonna spread those things all over the school. Salon. She always checks twice. There's zero tolerance for head lice. If she sees some hopping around in your hair, you gotta get up and get out of her chair. What do you got? You got head lice, and you have to go home. You get some shampoo and a fine tooth comb. You got head lice. Take a bath, you fool. You're gonna spread those things all over the school. They say it's not a matter of cleanliness. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Anyone can get there, but if they did, why did it only happen to the smelly kid? What did he have? He had hands. And you have to go home. You get some shampoo and a fine tooth comb. You got your eyes. Take a bath, you fool. You're gonna spread those things all over the school. You got your eyes. And you have to go home. Get some shampoo and a fine tooth comb. You got your eyes. Take a bath, you fool. You're gonna spread those things all over the school. Get lies. Get lies. Get lies. Thank you. <laughs> Woo! We all. Head lice, you like that one, huh? No. Well, you're no. No. Good grief. She didn't even make any bones. She even pretended like. <laughs> um, no, I've got. Um, I've got. Oh, well, I've got one that's even worse. I wasn't going to go there tonight, but I don't cuss on it, so. Okay. No, 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 no. Oh, you're horrible. No, nothing like that. This is about a traumatic childhood experience that I had about it'd be forty No, 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 no. I wasn't that kid. I was this kid. You'll like this one. This was about forty years ago. I was in kindergarten and um I, I used this song to share to get this out of me. It's very therapeutic. It's called the costume. <laughs> tried so hard to hold it back, but I, I peed in my costume. I peed, I peed, I peed in my costume. I peed, I peed, I in my costume. If you like that verse, this one's even worse. My mother was a real mother. She saw what I had done. She had to get me clean and dry so I could rejoin all the fun. She rushed me to my grandmother's to get clean underpants. But I didn't have any over there, so she made me wear my aunt's. and walked all around Dundalk Park. When it was time, oh no, 
been a while since I did this one. Anyway, I beat, I beat, I beat my costume. I beat, I beat, I beat my costume. Now I had to go home. My day was done. No pumpkin full of candy. That was no fun. Spent the rest of Halloween punished in my bed. If it wasn't for the doggone lemonade that made me be in my costume. It's cheaper than a shrink, I tell you. So. <laughs> That's about right.